A good morning, beloved students. A blessed year to all of us. Welcome back again to our FB Live in Science 8. Last quarter, you learned all about in physics, such as electrical current, energy, sound, light, and heat, relationship between current, voltage, and resistance, as well as electrical circuits and electrical safety. For this quarter, we will be talking about Earth and space. And I know that you are quite excited to talk about that. Am I right? Let's start! For this morning, let us build our mind a knowledge which is all about earthquakes and three types of faults of Unit 1, which is earthquake and faults. To begin, our objectives are, first, we need to identify the three types of fault with respect to its characteristics. And also, we need to explain how movements along faults generate earthquakes. I have here a picture, and what do you think is this picture all about? Type your answer on the comment section. Correct! That is Pacific Ring of Fire. As you can see on the picture, there is color yellow. Okay, those are the color yellow. And those color yellow represents plate, such as Eurasian plate. We have Eurasian plate. We have the North American plate. We have also the Arabian plate. And we also have the uh, Indo-Australian plate. And last but not the least, we have the American plate and then the South American plate. While well, color blue, okay, color blue here represents or pertains to Pacific plate. Show me the Pacific plate. We have the Antarctic plate. We have Cocos plate. We have Nazca plate. So those are color blue. We can also see the black line which pertains to border where most of the volcanoes are lying. And lastly, the dotted color red. Those small dotted red represents volcanoes which are surrounded along various places or plates rather. And now, when we say Pacific Ring of Fire, it is characterized by frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions marking the borders of the Pacific Plate. Now, as you can see class, frequent earthquakes here and volcanic eruptions, those are the what we so-called um, um, reasons why we have what we so-called the earthquakes. Okay? Aside from that, on the illustration provided for the next slides, you need to supply the information which is related to earthquake. But prior to that thing, the question is, what would be the possible words that are associated or related to earthquake? Here is the diagram for earthquake. And you need to guess all the words which are related to earthquake. First word, it has something to do during or after earthquake. This word is the reason why Many buildings, houses, and properties lost. What is this word? Type now your answer on the comment section. It starts with letter D and ends with letter E. What should be the word? Correct! It is destructive. Okay, earthquake is destructive. Now, for the next word, it pertains to many people or animal lost their life because of sudden or continuous earthquake. It should be starts with letter D and with letter H. It should be very good. It is dead. Okay. Next is this. During it is during earthquake, many people did this thing. What word is this? It is a 
five word. Starts with letter P and ends with letter C. And the correct answer should be very well said. It is a panic. Okay? So don't panic. Okay? How about this word? It is when someone needs assistance during or after earthquake. It should be exactly correct. It should be emergency. In this word, wherever we go and whatever we do during and after earthquake, all of us as well as our relatives need to be like in this situation. And what should be this word? Definitely correct. It should be safety. How about this word? In this word, the word this word happens during earthquake. Actually, it has something to do with the word quake. Synonymous word for quake. And what word is this? Great! It is shaking. Next word is this. You need this by doing the duck, cover, and food that you learned in your elementary days as well as in your high school days. Correct! It should be protection. Last two words. How about this word? Sometimes it happens during or after earthquake. What is this word? Type now your answer on the comment section. Very well said. It should be tsunami. I, I hope you are uh, familiar with the word tsunami. And last word is this. As citizen of Valenzuela, we need this all the time whenever there are news to watch and listen. Starts with letter I and ends with letter N. What should be the word? Precisely correct. It should be information. Those words that you guessed in our discussion has something to do with the word earthquake. And when you hear the word earthquake, or when we say earthquake, it is shaking or trembling of the earth caused by movement along a fault. It is also generate waves that travel through the earth's surface. Now, as you can see, there is the word surface. Uh, sorry, uh, we have the word at waves. And we learned all about the waves. When we say wave, it has something to do with the word disturbance. Or from the root word disturb, which transfer energy from one place to another. And these waves are what is felt and cause damage around the epicenter of the earthquake. And as you can see on the screen class, these pictures are the results of what we so called earthquake and it could be during or after. As you can see, the destruction of this um, earthquake. Now, as you notice, I highlighted the word epicenter. And on this image, on this image, you can see where the epicenter is located. I have here an image where focus and epicenter um, lies on. Okay? As you notice, we have the epicenter and we have the focus. And not only that, we have also pole scar. We have wave fronts. Okay? We also have the um, fault, etc. Now, the question is, what is your idea about focus and epicenter? Do you have any idea? As you look at the image again, you will see the picture here. Epicenter. And we also have the focus. Okay? When we say focus class, it is the point of reference or point of origin where the earthquake originates. Do not forget this. Do not forget all the highlighted words which are point of reference or point of origin. 
while epicenter it has something to do with the point in the earth surface that is directly above the focus okay how about pole as you can see class this is epicenter and then we see epicenter directly above the focus so directly so it produces what is called a straight line okay now how about the pole what do you mean by pole pole is a surface or narrow zone along which one side has moved relative to the other and also it is a break in the earth's crust and along the break significant movement has taken place either of this meaning class could be accepted in defining what we so called pole all we have to do is to remember all the keywords oh, let us go back again when we say pole it has something to do with surface surface or narrow zone while the um, another is break break in the earth's crust okay so you, any questions so far none okay another part is this fault line so when we say fault line it is the trace of the fault on the surface of the earth do not forget the word trace in tagalog that is bakas okay so that is fault line and the last part is the uh, before that as you can see this is the fault this fault you can um and the line here that's what we so called fault line okay that is fault class okay but the line here that's what we call fault line and the last part is this fault plane from the word plane okay it is the flat surface between two lands meaning it is located on the crust of the layers of the earth and there are three or sorry let me let me uh, give you first the fault this one has the what is so called fault plane this is fault plane between two lands okay so between two lands there is what we so called a uh, fault plane okay and there are three oh, sorry in this topic you can also learn the poles which are classified based upon to the direction of movement and there are three types of faults. Do you still remember those three types of faults? Or um, have you uh, read about the three types of faults? Any idea about that? It starts with letter R, first word. And then another is N. And the, the other one is letter S. Now, these three types are these. Number one is reverse fault. Next one is normal fault. And the uh, last one is what is so called strike slip fault. Let's start with thrust or reverse faults. Thrust or reverse faults class is a deep slip faults on which the hanging wall moves up relative to the foot wall and also it occurs at convergent plate boundaries. Okay? Let me give the example of the hanging wall first. And then the foot wall. This is a reverse slip fault. When you say hanging, meaning to say it hung. Okay, it hung on the um, on this side. Where the foot wall from the foot from the word foot, foot wall, meaning to say this is not normal class. Okay, this is a reverse or thrust fault. Okay, so this is foot wall and this is the hanging wall. Now, example of plate boundaries is this convergent plate boundaries is this. Okay, so as you notice, this is the other one. As you can see in the image, where uh, there are there were two directions. Okay, there were two directions which are opposite from each other. That the first direction goes forward, while the other direction is against the other arrow. Meaning the hanging wall. This is the hanging wall class. The hanging wall moves up, while the other wall is moved. Or is moving down. Okay? Do not forget that. 
Another example of reverse faults is this. Can you see now the hanging wall in this image? And put wall. Another picture is this. Can you see now? This one is the hanging wall. And this one is the put wall. Another is, this one is the hanging wall. And this one is the put wall. Now, another type of fault is this. We have the normal faults. When we say normal faults class, it is a deep sleep faults on which the hanging wall moves down relative to the put wall. Okay? Another is place younger rocks on older rocks. And also, if reverse faults has something to do with convergent, this one has something to do with divergent plate boundaries. Okay? So, let me have the picture. So, this is a picture of hanging wall moves down while put wall that is moving up. Okay? So, do not forget that. Now, these are the examples of normal faults. First picture, we have the outcrop scale normal faults. Second picture, and then we have the third picture. And the last fault is this, strike-slip faults. When we say strike-slip fault, it occurs <clears throat> when rocks move horizontally. Okay? When rock moves horizontally. As you notice on the picture, we have the um, strike-slip fault. Now, right lateral or dextral faults, strike slip faults across which the block moves to the right. Left lateral or sinistral faults, this is strike slip faults across which the block moves to the left. Okay? Now, as you notice, I have here the examples of strike slip. Okay? Can you see now the difference? So those are the pictures. I have here the San Andreas fault, okay, which are very familiar to you. It all it, um it has uh also the movie of San Andreas. Do you still remember that movie? Okay, we have the San Andreas fault. So this is the strike slip fault. Okay. Now we go now to question and answer. Do you have any questions, class? Before we proceed to the question and answer, if you have question. Type your question on the comment section. So, we go now to question and answer portion. Okay? For the question and answer portion, number one, what is this? It is the shaking or trembling of the earth caused by movement along a pole. What is this? It starts with letter E and ends with letter S or it could be letter E also. Shaking or trembling of the earth caused by damage or caused by movement along a pole. The answer would be very good. That is earthquake. How about number two? It is a break in the earth's crust and along the break significant movement has taken place. What is this break in the earth's crust? Starts with letter anyone? Starts with letter F. Ends with letter T. And the answer would be exactly that is fall. Do not forget that fall is a break in the earth's crust and along the break, significant movement has taken place. Now, how about this one? What faults are shown on the two images? Uh, what type of fault is this class? Do you still remember? What type of fault is number three? What type of fault is this? And this number 4. Number 3 starts with letter N. Number 4 starts with letter... Anyone? Starts with letter R. So this one, number 3, is a normal wall. Because the put wall moves up while the hanging wall moves down. Okay, for number 4, as you notice, hanging wall moves up 
Well, they put wall hoops down. So that is reverse hold for number four. So, so that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot for this session. So if you have the if you have a question, just type your comment in the comment section, and uh, we will uh, try to answer that question. So at last but not the least, number five. What are the two classification classification of strike? Slip points. What are the two? This is the dextral fold and sinistral fold. Okay? So, like right lateral and left lateral fold. So, so much for this class. So, as part of your activity in earthquake and fold, do the fold model on page 7 of your module. That's all for today. Goodbye. Thank you. And God bless.